guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art. And today we are going to read a book called Out of a Jar by Deborah Marcero. Llewellyn loved scary books and scary jokes. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? They didn't have any guts. And scary cartoons. Hello? But Llewellyn did not like to be scared. He tried to put the feeling away. Here. Then there. But no matter what he did, it kept coming back. Finally, Llewellyn put his fear in a jar and found a place to lock it away. There it stayed. He didn't feel afraid anymore. And that was that. Not long after, Llewellyn felt sad. His best friend, Max, was laughing and sharing secrets without him. Don't be glum, cheer up, said someone. So he put his sadness in a jar too. He locked it away. And that was that. Then during music class, he got so excited. But he wasn't supposed to dance. He was supposed to listen. So he shoved his excitement in a jar, too. And that was that. Anger. Strike three. Loneliness. Joy. Disappointment. He put them all in jars. And that, and that, and that was that. Soon, he had so many jars filled with so many emotions that Llewellyn walked around not feeling much of anything at all. One day, Llewellyn was feeling inspired, sculpting with clay, animals. Number one, choose an animal. Number two, shape clay into animal. Number three, keep it hollow so it doesn't explode in the kiln. But Max pointed and squealed with laughter. Eek! Dinosaurs don't have rabbit ears or butterfly wings. Llewellyn was so embarrassed. He tried not to show it. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, ha, he, he. But that just made it worse. Of course, Llewellyn knew just what to do. He put his embarrassment in a jar. But there was a problem. There was no more room. Llewellyn tried to push and shove and shut his feelings away. Tears of frustration leaked out, and something rumbled deep inside of him. Suddenly, crack! All of those jars holding all of those feelings shattered. Every single feeling broke loose and pummeled Llewellyn with a stampede that turned him into a ragged heap of a bunny on the floor. Buried at the bottom, fear was the last to leave. Once those feelings were out, something happened that Llewellyn didn't expect. He was happy and sad at the same time. He was excited and worried. But most of all, he felt relieved. So in the future, whenever Llewellyn was jubilant or embarrassed or upset, he didn't put those feelings away. Instead, he mustered up the courage to feel them, to share them. And when he was ready to look each feeling in the eye, give it a hug, and let it go. And that
really was that. The end.